stumbled upon an opportunity. I can make you rich. Rich enough to impress a princess. What would I have to do? There's a cave of wonders. Bring me the lamp. One who summons me, I stand by my oath, loyalty to wishes three. I'm kidding. Watch this. Watch out! Uh. You done wound me up. You ain't never had a friend like me. Hey, can you make me a prince? There is a lot of gray area in make me a prince. I could just make you a prince. Oh no. Y'all see my palace? You look like a prince on the outside. But I didn't change anything on the inside. Showtime. No, I'm in charge, okay? I say when it's time. Really? I thought a princess could go anywhere. Not this princess. Do you trust me? should see these places. I mean, there's a whole world outside of books and maps. Do you want to? How? Every door is guarded. Who said anything about a door? What are you doing? Sometimes, princess, sometimes you just have to take a risk. <gasps> Magic carpet. Do you trust me? What did you say? Do you trust me? Yes. Prince Ali. You flat down on one knee. Now try your best to stay calm. Brush up your Friday salon. Then come and meet a spectacular coterie. Prince Ali, my ears, he Ali Ababwa. Strong as ten regular men, definitely. <laughs> He's based a galloping horse. A hundred bad guys with swords. Who sent those ghouls to their lord? Why, Prince Ali? Fellas, he's got 75 Ooh. golden camels. Now the ladies, what is that? Because he's got 53. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. When it comes to exotic type mammals. Everybody help me out. He's got a zoo, I'm telling you. It's a world-class menagerie. Hey, can you make me a prince? There is a lot of gray area in Make Me a Prince. I could just... Make you a prince. Oh, no. Right, you'll be snuggled up with that dude for the rest of your life. Y'all see my palace? Be specific with your words. The deal is in the detail. Got it. Which I don't really understand, because if she already likes you, why change? I told you, she has to marry a prince. I just want to go home, man. OK, I can do that. You. T. How did you get past the guards? That was challenging. You cannot just break into a palace like you own the place. If you don't have anything, you have to act like you own everything. You stumbled upon an opportunity. I can make you rich. Rich enough to impress a princess. What would I have to do? There's a cave of wonders. Bring me the lamp. Oh, great one who summons me, I stand by my oath. Loyalty to wishes three. I'm kidding. Watch this. Do you trust?
trust me. Plaid out. Do we need the top knot? That's my little cherry on top. Rated PG. Aladdin is just one of those stories. It just burrows down inside of you. You don't know how you know every word of the songs. You just do. Aladdin, obviously a Disney classic. It was fun. It was adventurous. Aladdin! Are we in trouble? Only if you get caught. Aladdin! We're trying to stay truthful to the original, but we also wanted to give people something different. And what's awesome is Alan Menken, the genius behind the classic songs. Disney enlisted him on this movie as well. People are going to really fall in love with this incredible music. It really was an extravaganza, <laughs> you know. Showtime. As actors, we felt comfortable and confident to take shots. You really don't know who I am. You get to just have wild fun. Will bursts through the screen. He's funny. That's your personal business. He's charismatic. Carpet! Did you hear this voice out? He's amazing. You can clap now. A handsome prince wants to marry you. Oh, when will life get easier? We have a new character in this film, Dahlia. I play Dahlia, Jasmine's best friend. Naomi and I immediately hit it off. I mean, we had so much fun. We would just cry laughing in between takes. <laughs> It was just fun on set. You know, there's very few films that have singing, dancing, drama, comedy, like all of those elements. I love coming to work every day. You ain't never had a friend like me. One of the things that I love about Aladdin is that it's a fairy tale story in another part of the world, in this world of Agrabah. In making this movie, we wanted to make sure we're as authentic as possible. So ultimately, we decided to go out and just shoot on location. We shot out in Jordan, a place called Wadi Rum. You can just feel the history in the sand. I think it adds a level of reality. Aladdin! Are we in trouble? Only if you get caught. Aladdin! In creating Agrabah, we wanted to get the balance just right. So we had a team of culture advisors in order to give it an authentic voice. Our world of Agrabah is truly a global trading port, heavily influenced by Arabia, but also influenced by other neighboring cultures as well. Gemma Jackson, our production designer, and her crew just did an amazing job. I mean, the whole sort of Middle East is sort of my favorite place. I think probably doing Game of Thrones opened the whole door up. I started having to look much further around in the world for inspiration. Agrabah. So I just had an absolute ball building Agrabah. You know, stepping onto set the first time, it was, uh, it was insane. When we see they actually built this whole city. It really was magical. You could genuinely get lost in the streets. It was really, really important that Agrabah feel like the real location. It's just so visually stunning. And the palace and Jasmine's room, the throne room, just took my breath away. From the costumes to the sets, it was unlike anything I've ever seen. I'm excited to sit in an audience to see it because everyone really doubled and tripled down on getting it right. And now, a special look at Disney's Aladdin. Who's the girl? She's a princess. Oh, aren't they all? No, we had a connection. But she has to marry a prince. Back up, boy. I need some room to work. I made you look like a prince on the outside. But I didn't change anything on the inside. Prince Ali got you to the door. Do you trust me? What did you say? But Aladdin has to open it. Do you trust me? Sometimes, princess, you just have to take a risk. Rated PG. I played the genie in Aladdin. What did I do to prepare for the role? You know, I spent about six weeks in a lamp. <laughs> Part of what I connected to with this movie is the concepts around friendship. Who's the girl? She's a princess. Oh, aren't they all? Ideas around love, around self-worth. 
I'm excited to be a part of talking about that in the world. You have got to be more confident about what you have to offer. The genie's trying to teach Aladdin to be comfortable with who he is. Do you trust me? Very similar to what I'm trying to teach my kids to be empowered, to be who you are. Aladdin is a spectacular family film. It has drama, it has comedy. Everybody can enjoy this movie. Sometimes you just have to take a risk. Rated PG.